Yeah, and we had a party that night. Greg got next morning, was the son, said, well, let's go to church. I told him I didn't care if I didn't. He said, put on your little old juice, juice, Sunday go to meet in juice suit. I put on that suit and had a sign on it. Said, if it rain on me, I'll drop on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I put on, you know, was to hook up old Simo. I hooked up old Simo. He said, you drive. I grabbed old Simo, you know, across the hole and nine, hit him down across that backbone three times before you let him go. I draw it back down, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, it's a losing lot. Down the road, me and Paul and Simo, me and Simo and Paul, down the road we went. Yeah, down. When they got to the church, old Simo got scared of something, a little boy got to the church, a mud hole, and he seen his shadow. He didn't know he looked that bad, you know, there wasn't nothing but a frame there. He jumped. <laughs> jumped the line down my hand. Paul said, son, he gone, ain't I? Said, yeah. I said, boy, what we got to do now? Old Simo got to the church. He hit that big oak tree and stopped. But me and Paul didn't. Me and Paul's in there, side by each and each by side. After a while, Paul got down under me. I got down under Paul. Paul hollered down and said, hey, son. I said, yes, sir, Paul. You reckon the good Lord's with us? I said, if he is, he's a going son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. After a while, me, after a while, me, after a while, me and Paul come down. Paul said, Lord, we had a glorious time in heaven, didn't we? I said, yeah. He said, but I'm glad to get back on earth. I said, yeah. He said, let's go in the church now. Paul went in the church and went in the amen corner. Preacher took his take and come in preaching. Paul's nodding, dreaming about Seymour running away. Every one when he went taking a nap, he jumped. Preacher, oh, I can see him when Paul's sleeping. Nobody dreaming, dreaming about Seymour running away. After a while, oh, a big fat woman jumped up and shouted around there, you know, <laughs> shouted on her. Paul, Paul's sleeping right on dreaming, dreaming about old Seymour running away. Yeah, the lady shot it on right there. When she got right, when she got right there where Paul was, she reached up and caught Paul running. Uh, caught, uh, and Paul reached up and caught her around the way. Say, hey, son, he sleep right on, man, you know. I said, yeah, sir, Paul. Cut loose the hamstring. Cut loose the back, man. Pull the bride off. Let her around. I got it. Yes. 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 After them filming them up, after them people in the I'm in devil get to sing you a song. I sing it in five different voices. Miserable, terrible, horrible, novel, and excitable. Yes. Now, as I sing this song, if any teenage girls out there got on them little old mini skates, <laughs> I want them to rock to the right. Any school teachers out there want them kind of rock it to the left. <laughs> If any old maid out there can't rock either way, let's do this. I'll see you. <laughs> yes. 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 a while ago. <laughs> Lord, when I come in my house, who is that cat went out my back door? <laughs> oh, he left my back door running. I thought it was a garbage can. One leg in his britches and hold the other one in his hand. <laughs> in my house. Who is that cat went out my back door? Hey, he must have been a stranger. Never been here before. Broke down my bed and had a pallet on my floor. <laughs> Who is that left here a while ago? 
But if you sink down easy, let him cut that cape around you once more. <laughs> what the tadpole said when he swallowed up a eel, more you wiggle, son, the better I feel. <laughs> Then the monkey told the elephant, I better dine. Can't you twist your tail like you see me twisting mine now. <laughs> Who is that left here a while ago? <laughs> Lord, when I come in my house, who is that scamp went out my back door? <laughs> Oh, he left my back door running, catching plenty of fresh air. <laughs> Seen the bottom of his feet so regular, I thought he kneeled in proud. in my house. Who is that cat went out my back? Huh? You look at me. You look at me, you look at a man that was born for hard luck. I was born on the 13th day and that was on a Friday. I was born a bad luck day. I was born the last month in the year. I was born the last week in a month. I was born the last day in a week. I was born the last hour in a day. I was born the last minute in an hour. I was born the last second in a minute. I was born the last half of the degree of a second in a minute. I was born, I've come done now, not getting here at all. <laughs> show, show you, to show you that I is in hard luck, if I go up the street walking fast, I run over something. I'm in such hard luck. If I go up there walking slow, something run over me. I'm in such hard luck from settling down. I'm in everybody's way. I'm in such hard luck. If it's raining down soup at this very minute, old man, you ought to be quiet. If it's raining down soup at this very minute, everybody be standing there with a spoon, I'd have a fork. I'm in, uh, yeah, I'm in such hard luck of my daddy was to die. Didn't make a mistake and bury me. Yeah, I'm in such hard luck. If I was to die, I'd have to walk to the cemetery. <laughs> oh, I was born for hard luck. No longer day behind past history before this day got ready to stop by here. I stand on the corner, you know, I was on my feet. You know, two ways to be on your feet. But my mind, my leather done come off the bottom of mine, I was on my feet. And I was leaned up against the post, I was in hard luck anyhow. And I looked up the street and I saw a great big old policeman look like he weighed about 350. He's wagging down the street with them two guns on the side and spinning that headache stick in his hand, on his finger. When he got down next to me, I stepped out there. I said, Mr. Policeman. He said, yes, what is it? I said, can you tell me what time it is, sir? <laughs> he drug out that headache stick. Looked like it took him a half hour to get it out of so long. <laughs> Hit me down across the head. because stuck it. <laughs> said, Sonic just struck one. <laughs> I said, whoo! I'm glad I wasn't here an hour ago. I'd have got the whole dose. <laughs> Made me so mad I could eat fried chicken. I left there and went on down the street a little piece further. I was in hard luck anyhow, you know. And I've seen a whole lot of people gathered up. I went on there and stuck my nose over there and I tended everybody else's business and leave mine alone. In hard luck anyhow. And a man was turning the handle. And a little old monkey with a red suit on was jumping all around there. Did 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 music coming out and did did people picking nickels and dimes. I walked on through the crowd and pushed the old and went up and stood upside the man. He I, his shoulders up high and I was. I looked up at him and he looked down on me. He said, "Shall you mind holding my monkey till I go eat?" I told him I didn't care if I didn't. I felt big, you know. I was turning that handle, that music coming down, that monkey had on that little red suit, jumping all around, people pitching them nickels and dimes. Of course, the monkey didn't have no pockets now, you know. I was getting off my feet fast. <laughs> yes, yeah. After a while, a lady was standing there, she'd give a little girl a nickel. She'd go get a monkey and nickel. she come over there, she looked at me, then she looked at the monkey, then looked back at me and looked back at her mom. I said, Mama. She said, yes, honey, what is it? 
So who must I get this nickel to? The monkey or the monkey's paw? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it made me so mad I could eat fried chicken. Yeah, I, I left there and went on down to the depot, you know, so I believe I'll leave town. I had a little abscess on my pocket, you know, the man gone, you know, the monkey didn't have no pocket. So, so I went on down there, I run in the depot, you know, and I slapped a dime on the counter. I said, give me a ticket. He said, what you? I said, there you go meddling again. Just give me a ticket, and he did. I was in hard looking, and I went on, got on the train. Time I got on the train, good and sat down across my leg. In walked that same little monkey, and then sat it, the same little monkey man had him, you know, and sat him on my lap. Said, hold my monkey. I said, Mr. Tick, this monkey out of my lap. You ain't up down or not, I got sassy, you know, had a little nut in my pocket. Yeah, he said, oh, that's a good little monkey, he ain't gonna hurt you. I said, take this monkey out of my lap, I tell you. He said, oh, that's a good little monkey. He ain't gonna hurt you. I jumped up and went riding mad. I jumped up and went running into another coach. I said, conductor. He said, yes, what is it? I said, you allow monkeys on this train? He said, shh, shut up and ride on. They won't know you own you. I was born for hard luck. Yeah, hard luck stayed on my train. It made me so mad I could eat fried chicken. I got down off of that train on my way back uptown. Time I got up town good, yonder come a trolley car. There stand a poodle dog on the track. And yonder come mahogany brown, look like she weighed about 500 pounds. She was trying to get that uh, poodle dog off of the track before that, before that trolley car hit him, but she didn't make it. That trolley car hit him and knocked him in the air. And when he hit the ground, she had on one of them little mini skates. She fell down on him, three men behind me fell dead. And I stood up that cold chill run all over. And she's rubbing that poodle dog all and crying, you know. After a while, she hauled way back and kissed that poodle dog and smacking him out. Come, bow! I said, ooh! She said, what's the matter, mister? I said, I wish there was a dog. She said, Nina, mind, puppy, you a grow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, it made me so bad I could eat fried chicken. Yeah. I smiled around there a little while, you know. I done fell in love with her, she don't know, no. And she's crying, you know, and the tail's leaking out. After a while, she looked up at me and said, Mister. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, you mind taking this dime, going up to the grocery store and getting me 10 cents worth of dog meat? I told her I didn't care if I didn't. I grabbed the dime out of her hand. You could shoot dice on my coattail going up the street. You get the back for that mahogany brown. When I run in a grocery store, when I slapped the dime on that counter, my coattail flew up over my head. Give me a ten cents worth of dog meat. Man looked at me one moment. Said, you want it wrapped up or you going to eat it here? <laughs> yes, I was born for hard luck. Hard luck still. After them few remarks, I'm in delegated to sing your song. The title of it is, Never Smack the Baby in the Face, Cause the Good Lord Have Prepared a Much Better Place. Boy, I'm, I've been showing a long time. I got my time is out now. Uh, got to go from here to the great beyond. <laughs> Thank God I met a woman, I start talking. Talk her with me, thought maybe we could get a shoe nip. Crawling all around me. Woo! Do it, Slam! Woo! Do it, boy! Oh, 
Time was tough. When the wind blowing, you could hear them whistling. <laughs> so many patches on them, my God. I never did have to change clothes because the pants I wore when Mama got through patching them, I had on a different pair. How you get so many clothes, brother? <laughs> yeah, that preacher asked me that in the church one time. I don't do that for my living now. I do it to keep them missing so many doggone meals. My mama, she, she was an Indian. My papa was an engineer. I don't know what I is, a boxcar caboose. All, all I know, I'm suffering. Come and get your bed. Come and get that blue-eyed baby, cause it's burning down. Yeah. I asked my dear old mother one time, I said, Mama, she said, what it is, your little old blue-eyed thing, you? I said, how come I ain't got no sisters and no brothers? My mama patted me on the head, said, listen here, honey, listen here, my honey dear, as lazy as your pappy was, hell, it's just too luck you here. <laughs> My mama told me, she said, son, I said, yes, ma'am, mom. She said, I got an old dumb neck of hen down there in that cook. I've been fattening up for three weeks. I want you to wring her head off today. Son, I'm going to make dumb. I, I, mama, mama cooked dumplings so good, mouth smack a week after you. Yeah. I was, yeah, well, I went down to the, you know where I went down to that cook? <laughs> then I look down at them. I look down on the, I look down on my old dumb and neck of hen. I said, you make a good pet. But God knows them dumplings taste the best to me. <laughs> yeah. I rest down there and got about a head. Give it four or five swings. Head it back the other way. I hear the way she hollered. Ow. Where's that now? <laughs> Next pup. I throw it out there in a clean yard. I said, that's yours, Mom. I want some dumplings so bad, but my mouth both sides were running juice. <laughs> yeah, where that old dumb neck was flopping when she slowly dying. After I, you know where she was flopping? That's that last down flop. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm the boss around here. I'm the boss around here. What'd you say, 
Sam. I say, here come the balls around here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our last demonstration tonight. Now, if you need any of that, if you need any of this snake oil here, we have a few bottles left here. It's a dollar a bottle. You can get as many as you want of snake oil as one dollar a bottle. If you need the soap, we still have some soap left here. Soap is for your hair, your skin, your scalp, for shaving and beard. Stop the dandruff, stop the itchy scalp. Dollar for six bars per dollar. And if you need any of the corn medicine, we still have some left. Now, if you need any of our products, Sam will be here to wait for you. If you step down, he'll be glad to wait for you. We wanna, we're going to close up now. This is our last demonstration. Now, we will be here all day tomorrow. We'll be here all day tomorrow. So tell your friends and neighbors to come back and see us tomorrow. And I want to thank you for your kind and courteous attention, ladies and gentlemen.